So in the last video, we showed that Surfpool is going to automatically create these runbooks for you. This is infrastructure as code that will deploy your program to your Surfnet um, and to DevNet and to Mainnet. But it also does more than that. It's going to be creating these subgraphs. So we have this subgraphs file. And what a subgraph is, is it is a index of the chain that is specific to your program. So with this deploy subgraph action that we have here, we are listening to your surfnet and we are checking if this program is ever called and if the program being called results in this event being emitted. So if we if we look at the actual program code here, we can see that there is this emit CPI that's called whenever this instruction is processed. And this is just a struct that you define in your program, whatever data you want to be emitting, whatever events you want to emit when your program is called, you can emit it as you design your program. And then Surfpool is automatically going to create an index of every time that's emitted and have it in a just a really easy to access, easy to query GraphQL database. Um, so if we, if we go and we just do Surfpool start, We'll see the program is being deployed and then at the end your subgraph can be reached at this url and we'll see locally we've got um, a subgraph with a schema like we can see that there's the there's a, a um, the schema of this event that we can query with all of the fields that we have outlined in um, in our event struct that is just available here to query and then if we go and um, I've got a run book here that's going to actually call our program. So I'm going to do surf pool run send tokens dash u. All right, we've called this um, the protocol that we already have deployed to our surf net. And so now whenever I run this query, we've got the data. So we've got the block height that the, the, um, the program was invoked at. We've got the recipient account that I that I put in the recipient to account that I put in the call and I've got the amount that was transferred and I've got the transaction hash and the token program and the mint that was transferred. So um, our program did a transfer and we've got a GraphQL database just ready to go and query of every time our, um, our program is invoked. Um, and Surfpool is just giving us, us that right out of the box, right when you deploy your program, you've got that ready to go, ready to start using.